Let's take a look how to make this a really interesting text effect with the envelope distort here in Illustrator. So first select your text and I'm gonna go with the Molen Surplus. This is a free font you can download. I can leave a link in the description. And as you can see here, I did customize it a little bit more. So anyways, when you have your font, you can select it, right click on it and select create outlines and right click on group. And I'm gonna select one of the names, press control G to group it. And I'm gonna select the second one and group it again. So this way we've got like two different names separately grouped. All right, so from here, I'm gonna select the sphere and let's go to stroke and fill. We're gonna swap it. So the fill is gonna be black and click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill. So it's gonna be on the top and press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. And now we're gonna go and search for the knife tool and we're gonna need to cut this. I'm gonna go with a slight wave. We're also gonna need to offset this. Let's go and select both. Let's go to object, path, select offset path. And here we're gonna to need to increase the size. So it's gonna create this distance in between the line. I'm also gonna select the join meter. This is good. I'm gonna go with five, click OK and press Shift plus M. Or you can go and select the shape builder tool. Now press and hold Alt and click on this line. And all you need to do here is just remove these unnecessary shapes. And as you can see, we also got some unnecessary lines here. I'm gonna remove them like so. So we got these two shapes and we're gonna go with these two texts. And first I'm gonna right click on the text. Let's go to arrange and select send to back. Now I'm gonna select the first text, press and hold shift and select the top part of the circle. Now we're gonna go to the object and let's go down to envelope distort and select make with top object. Now I'm gonna go with the second half circle, press and hold shift, select the text as well, repeat the same process, envelope distort, make with top object. Now as you can see, it is going to straighten these lines instead of making it nice and curvy. So we're gonna to need to customize it a little bit more. So I'm gonna select both. Let's go to object and select expand. Click okay. And from here, I'm gonna select the circle. I'm gonna swap it to stroke and I'm gonna place it right on top. So this way I got some sort of mock-up that I can follow. And let's go and select the direct selection tool. And I'm gonna go here, for example, and just bend out the handles a little bit more. After you're done, you can remove the circle and I'm gonna select all of it, right click. Let's select group. Now let's go to object path and select offset path again. And we're gonna need to offset this a little bit more. Click okay. And we're gonna need to ungroup it, right click, ungroup all. And I'm gonna press and hold shift and select the thinner letters, all of them, and right click on it, select group. And I'm gonna select everything and then press and hold shift and click on the top text, which is thinner. So this way is going to deselect it. Now, as you can see, the thick version is selected. And what I'm gonna do is go here to the pathfinder and click on unite. And I'm also gonna select the top one, which is thinner and just recolor it. For example, I'm gonna go with some gray and I'm gonna select the black version and press control C and then you can go to edit, paste them back, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down. And now press and hold shift. Let's go and select the thicker version here. So you got like both selected and we're gonna go to object blend and click on make. So now we're gonna double click on the blend tool and select specify steps, increase the numbers, click okay. And I also can double click on the small text and select it. And this way you can move the extrusion around so we can uh, arrange it a little bit better. I think this is pretty good. Let's go double click somewhere here. I also gonna select a rectangle, right click, arrange center back. And there you go.